to the video presentation of the book, Let Us Java. Written by a very popular author Yashavand Kanitkr, and published by BPB Publications. This is the very latest version of the book and has covered around all the previous drawbacks. What's new in the book is. It will focus on making the strong foundation for Java programming. Fully working examples and shown and each topic is illustrated in details. The language used is very basic and you will not face difficulties regarding that. A carefully crafted exercise is made keeping in mind all the three levels of the reader that is a novice, an intermediate or an expert. So let's just start with it and see what inside the book. The book follows a basic approach and it can be stated from its content only. We are going to discuss some of the contents in this video. The contents we are going to cover are Overview of Java Getting started Java data types and instruction Decision control instruction Loop and case control instruction Functions and its features So let's our journey The very first topic of the book is about Java and, and its basic overview As before really going into programming you should be knowing what is programming or what's about the language. Java is a programming language developed SD Sun Microsystems in 1995 and was designed by James Gosling. Java takes different approaches than the traditional approach taken by language like C and C++. It let developers follow, compile once and run anywhere approach. A list of most important features of Java language is given below. Simple. Object oriented, portable, platform independent, secured, robust, architecture neutral, interpreted, high performance, multi thread, distributed, dynamic. Now we have gained knowledge about Java, so let's move further. Four important aspects of any language or the way it stores data. The way it operates upon this data. How it accomplishes input and output. And how it lets you control the sequence of execution of instructions in program. Data types are the most important and basic thing to understand. A data type specifics two things. What value can the data type takes? What operations can be performed on the data type? In general we have only four basic data type only that is. First we have, integer. Which is further subdivided to four category that is byte, int, short, long. Integer are the no. Which don't have decimal point or non-fractional numbers. Then we have floating point number, the numbers which do have decimal point in between or the fractional numbers. Float and double are the two types of this. Then we have a char data type which have characters, symbols or string as input. At last we have boolean data type which takes value in either true or false. Now we have variables. Variables are the containers, in which an item of data can be stored. Variable follow some rules to declare them. Java keywords are basically predefined words or reserved words used by the language to perform a particular operation. As we have gained basic idea about the programming part we are now can successfully write a code in Java. Please refer to the book for writing a Java program for calculating simple interest. As we have already discussed about the data types previously so we will be moving further. Now that we have written a few programs. What are the instructions we have used in these programs? There are basically five types of instruction in Java. Which are type declaration, arithmetic instruction, control instruction, exception handling and advanced instruction. You can get a detailed description about each in the book. Then we have console input, output in Java which is to receive input from the keyboard and send output to screen. For this we have functions like read line function, it reads line of character entered from the keyboard unless enter is hit. And println function which send outputs to the screen. 
In many programming situations we want one set of instructions to get executed in one situation and an entirely different set in another situation such situation are dealt with in Java programming using a decision control instruction. A decision control instruction can be implemented in Java using first the if else statement second the conditional operators please refer to the book for the if else statement syntax and a program written on this also we have operators which are broadly divided into four sections arithmetic operator logical operator relational operators and bitwise operator also all the operator follow a precedent rule that is a higher precedence operator will have a higher priority Conditional operator is a special type of operator which performs a specific operation. It is sometimes also called as ternary operator. In this if expression 1 is true, then the value returned will be result of expression 2, otherwise the value returned will be result of expression 3. Look at the examples in book and try to solve the exercise. The versatility of the computers lies in its ability to perform a set of instructions repeatedly. This involves repeating some portion of program either a specified number of times or until a particular condition is being satisfied. There are three methods by which we can repeat a part of program, which are for a loop, while loop, do while loop. Looping is very essential part of programming. Please go through this topic very carefully from the book, and check for the examples and exercise questions. We can also perform nesting of loops, nesting means running one loop inside other. Refer to the examples and book. We often come across situations where we want to jump out of loop. Instantly. For this we have multiple statements to do such kind of task. These statements are known as jump statements. These are break continue jump all these statements are thoroughly illustrated in the book also switch statements that are the control instructions that allows us to make a decision from the number of choices is called as switch statements but instead of using switch we can use if else ladder as there are some things which we cannot perform with switch please refer to the topic for details about each topic a computer program cannot handle all the task by itself instead, it requests other programs like entities called functions to get this task done. A function is a self-contained block of statements that perform a coherent task of some kind. Every Java program has one or more functions in it. A function mainly consists of three parts that is. Function defining. Function calling. Function declaration. This book covers function in two topics and has given enough time for each topic to be understood by everyone. You will get to know each function topic in detail can practice it with their exercise. Java language is very popularly used for creating applications for PC, laptop, tablet, web and mobile world. Learning a language that can work on so many different platforms can be challenge. This is where you would find this book immensely useful. It follows simple and easy narration style. It begins with the basics and steadily builds the pace. Object-oriented programming has been covered in detail to give a strong foundation for Java programming. That's all for this video and we will be covering more topics of the book in the next video. If you like this illustration about the book please like and subscribe BPB publication.